Hey guys, welcome back to the Dinner Vision Studio. I think he just cut his hand off. I'm Chris. I'm Zach. AKA Darth Charter. This is my apprentice, Darth Zach Attack. So, I know, I know, I'm wearing a Darth Vader shirt and I have a color and lightsaber, but I left my other lightsaber at your mom's house. Oh! Oh! Anyway, guys, all right. Today we're cooking crack. Oh, what? What? Hold up. Crack? Yeah. yeah. Is this like Breaking Bad now? It's Alabama. No, that's meth. Oh, I thought we're making crack. I thought I thought... crack chicken. Oh, oh, dad jokes. I thought Breaking Bad was like drugs. I mean, it is drugs. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I, I haven't watched it. Yeah. It's just I. Yeah, I it's not. It. Anyway, it is Star Wars month. Um, also. We want to start this off real quick by saying happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out here watching, including my mom, Terry Nautilus. And to Mel and Joe, you will always be in our hearts. And so, to my mother, and to my grandmother as well. Um, of course, you know, Mel and Tammy, Mel and Joe, and also to my Alabama grandmother, um, Lynn Reed. So, so, yeah. Happy Mother's Day to all you guys. Uh, we appreciate sport. We appreciate everything you do. So, we are making crack chicken today. So, with all that said, let's get to cooking. All right, real simple ingredients on this one. So we got four chicken breasts here, pack of ranch seasoning, one eight ounce pack of cream cheese. I just got some like off brand over here, doesn't be that fancy. You can get that Philadelphia if you want to. Got a half broth of chicken broth. We still got some of the chicken broth left over from uh, the Jambalaya. Did you watch that episode? Go watch it. All right, now it says eight strips of bacon, but that's a lot of work, guys. I'm not cooking extra bacon. We're trying to cook a good meal tonight. It's the last of nine o'clock tonight. We're tired. I worked all day. We're gonna do some bacon pieces. Okay, we got a cup of mayonnaise. Bama mayonnaise, gotta have Bama mayonnaise. It's really good. About two cups of cheddar cheese, one of those packs there. And we got some fresh chives. Two cups up there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let Zach go ahead and put this in the instant pot for us. All right, so we got our cream cheese. We are going to take half of it, right? Or the whole thing? The whole thing. The whole thing? All right. Get this out. We've already got our chicken in the Instant Pot. We would have put that in here. <laughs> you have problems there? You got it? I got it. Okay. He's going to mash it up. Try to... Just a little bit. Just kind of break it up a bit. Okay. So now the cream cheese is all... Uh, broken apart a little bit. You don't have to be broken apart a lot, just a little bit so the flavor gets to all the chicken. All right, so now you go take your chicken broth. Pour that in there. Then you're gonna take your Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. And then you're just gonna open that like so. And then Shake that in there. Shake, 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 shake. There you go. Mm -hmm. And mix up a little bit. Don't have to. I'm just gonna mix it up. So season it's all in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Had to show off our other. Star Wars of a mix. Again, right. this artwork is amazing. We got a lot of artwork from Comic Con. We're going to start putting different artwork up here on each episode so you guys can see. Alright, so put your lid on. Then you're going to put on pressure cook for 15 minutes. Alright, and then once. It'll, it'll go. You let it sit like that. Oh, Sorry, we're still kind of learning the Instapot. Right. Something new for us. 
I haven't used this thing at all, so like, See? I'm still learning. It starts up there. But there you go. All right, so while well, that's cooking, let's go do some dad advice. Welcome back to Dad Vice. Be more Vader. So, hope you guys are uh, liking this Dad Vice. So, this one is perfect your interview technique. Stand out from the crowd at any interview by showing some backbone. Your busy interviewer probably has an inbox full of emails to which they must reply. We have budgets that need to be signed off and rebellions to crush. Don't waste their value time coming across as a weak-minded applicant or another corporate clone. Yeah, the clones just turn into stormtroopers. Welcome. Go in strong and fully prepared, and within 15 minutes, even the most intimidating figure will be keen to hire you. So this is really cool. This is really different. Um, I've been through a lot of interviews myself. You know, I had to go in, kind of nervous, having to meet people. And be a manager, I've had to do a lot of interviews. And I don't like boring interviews. I don't like boring anything, honestly, if you know me. But I don't like boring interviews. I don't like coming in here, okay, what did you do at your last job? Tell me your three strengths and weaknesses. We're horrible at that. So people don't want to compliment themselves or they're too hard on themselves. But what I like to ask for in interviews is maybe um, personal skills or, you know, behavioral questions. You know, I might ask situational questions such as, you know, I'll ask some people Tell me about a time that you just did something stupid that you don't really regret. And they're like, what? Me? I had a kid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I love it. Oh. Or my favorite one, honestly, really is if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Obviously, I'm a giraffe. Um, be different. Be at the point that when you walk out of that interview, they already know they're going to hire. They're only doing the other interviews for formality. I've had interviews like that where... I have both been the interviewer and the interviewee, the candidate. People know who I am. People know, that's Chris Hartzer. But, I know it's weird. You all think, I know I've never met a stranger as much as I talk, but some people don't know me. I have to make them know me. Make them know you. Be the person that when they're going through their files, when they pull your name, oh, I remember this person. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. They don't even have to talk about your credibility or your experiences. They remember you. Let them know you, not your resume. That's your dad advice for the week. So once your 15 minutes is up, you're going to let it natural release for about five minutes. And then after the five minutes up, then we're going to do the quick release like that. All right, so I'll see you back in here in a few minutes. See if I let it sit for about two. So see you back in a few minutes. All right, so we had let this sit for about five minutes natural release, and then we did the quick release. Sorry, we forgot to get it on video. All right, so we'll go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and remove the chicken. Oh, well, that's a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, just put this into the pot right here. Oh. <laughs> and after we get the chicken, we are just going to shred it. If you got a little shredder thing, that's fine. That's how I want to shred it. But we just want to shred this chicken up. Alright, so I got my chicken shredded up. Now we're going to take our 
one cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna mix this with the cream cheese that's still in here, and that chicken broth and the ranch powder that was in here. Done with that, all we're gonna do is just get your whisk. And get this all combined and mixed up. That's what your chicken looks like right away. Back in the shredder. So we got the instant pot on saute mode. Again, we got the one cup of mayonnaise, the rest of our cream cheese, chicken broth, and ranch in here. And we're just gonna mix this up until it thickens up. Alright, so now our stuff has thickened up. Freckles don't grow back when they get burnt. Especially grease. Don't stick your hand in hot grease, Dad. I'll try not to. Wait, did you stick your hand in hot grease? No, it got splashed on me. Oh. So what you got going on out there? So now, we're going to mix your chicken in here. All right, get your good color like that. Actually, that might be good. We're just gonna let that mix all up and let this sit for just a second. All right, Zach, so what you got going on here? So, all right, so now we took the chicken from there and we put it in a bowl. Now I'm putting bacon and cheese on there. So right now I got a you know, decent layer of cheese on there to let it melt on top. So we just got ours because it is kind of late at night. Um, you can actually make these as sandwiches or however you want to do it. You can make like here as a main dish with some sides. This is just going to be our whole meal today. Um, I was going to fix some other sides, but you know. It's cool. It's cool. All right. All right. You got yours looking pretty good? All right. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix mine, and then we'll get ready for taste test. All right. So there's my bowl right there. So let's do the taste test. Ooh, that cheese. Yeah. Oh my god. Now that's some cracked chicken right there. Cause it's really addicting. <laughs> Are you pulling out the dad jokes? Not sure I am. <laughs> Super addicting. Alright. Thoughts? That was really good. Definitely put cheese and bacon on it. Adds really good flavor to it. The cream cheese makes a really good texture for it as well. Overall, like, amazing. All right, well, let me go ahead and get mine a try. All right. So you got mine, same thing. Cheese, they got, you got your bacon bits, you got your uh, plenty of cheddar cheese. I went ahead and mixed mine up real good with the cheese. And the chives on there too. Again, um, some people make this as sandwiches with like buns or just make it as an entree. Ooh, geez, there. Immediately, that Hidden Valley Ranch hits you. I'll get back for a second. Is it addicting like crack? Yeah. Born in the 80s, crack baby. Definitely <laughs> super <laughs> easy recipe. Voice crack. Definitely super easy recipe. How long did it take? It's like 30. It didn't really take long, yeah. It, it took us like. 15 minutes for pressure, um, 5 minutes release. Of course, it takes us longer when we record just because we're doing all the stuff. Uh, but really, nothing. You saw the prep. I didn't have to cook up the chicken. Even shredded up took me real 
like really took me like a minute or two. We just cut it out for you guys. Super quick too. Really simple. Again, this be good on trade, but it's late at night tonight, so we're just doing this as our whole entire meal. Um, we're doing that. Um, so now it's time to feed our bellies. Man, I'm stuffed. Dinner dudes over here cooking crack. <laughs> no, okay, but. The reason we made cracked chicken tonight, which I'm so glad we were, um, was because if you remember last week, we asked you to find a certain item. Cat dog, cat dog, cat dog. Cat dog. So, um, now will Tammy film that? Of course, my mom, being the great supporter she is, uh, watched the whole video and told the timestamp. We had it over here on our little um, iced coffee maker. Yes, we're basic. Don't judge me. 15 bucks, dude. You're judging me. They're judging me. I think they are. I'm basic. I know it is. Time to fight them. What? <laughs> anyway, uh, great meal. Quick, um, easy recipe. You guys saw. Delicious. Uh, I'm, again, I'm stuffed. So, that thoughts? I thought it was really good. As soon as you, like, take a bite of it, the flavor just hits you. Before you even touch it, your tongue it hits you. It's so good. Really feeling too. Awesome. Awesome. What well, was uh, really great? So go follow our socials, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, comment. We will have a link tree posted soon. We're going to work, we're working on that right now. Uh, we have a QR code and stuff, but mm -hmm. he'll figure that stuff out. Um, or me, or whoever. The dinner dudes are on TikTok now. Uh, we only had the one video. Don't judge me. Well, is there, we'll, no, we'll have we'll have two videos. We'll two videos because yeah. before this comes out, there'll be a video posted. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we just started it um, a little long ago, so it's go give us a follow. It's at um, at the Dinner Dudes on TikTok. Give me a follow too at Zagadai zero two five and Ky Boy at Bama. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my mine's more like I know you do them for fun. Mm -hmm. I try to do them for fun too, but I also try to like. Run a business as well, but doing dinner dudes and stuff, more focused on dinner dudes than that. But we both run our own TikToks as just fun pages. Having a good time. And that's what this is about, too. We're having a good time. He's learning life skills. Uh, you guys get some dad advice. We give you guys really good cooking and stuff. And entertainment. Okay. If you think we're funny, we're funny. He's more of the funny one. I'm more of the. I'm here. Uh, happy Star Wars Month, guys. Happy Star Wars Month. Uh, happy and Mother's Day. Have you want to say as well? So, in the comments, you can tell us who's your favorite Star Wars character, and also too, why are you thankful for your mother or grandmother or stepmom? Just oh. any anybody who is a mother. I am a Han Solo. I do like Han Solo, um, and of course, everybody knows I do like Vader. I I like Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin slash Vader. Like so. But until then, guys. Um, like the sharks that I am, I ramble a little too much today. Yep. He's just like me. It's cool. Till next time, guys. I'm Chris. I'm Zach. And we're the Dinner Dudes.